Hey guys, how's it going on this? What are we today? Wednesday afternoon. I'm already losing track of time. I gotta cut my hair again one of these days because this is getting out of control and trim my beard a little bit. But uh, yeah, I called uh, the electronic shop to see if they had the capacitors in and they do in fact have the 10 volt 470 microfarad but they don't have the 25 volt 220 microfarad. They do however have a 50 volt 220 microfarad which will work in its place as long as it fits in the hole. I'm gonna rock in a hard place, not really but kinda sorta because I just found a deal on Kijiji which is mint. Let me show you. So you get an Acer 24 inch monitor, a Dell keyboard and mouse which I could care less about uh, right there. Oh shit, back it up. 24 inch LCD Acer computer monitor with Dell keyboard and mouse. 30 fucking dollars. Best part about this deal is just around the corner from my house. Now, obviously I want to fix that Acer monitor regardless. So we're going to head over to Mesco. We're going to pick that shit up. I emailed the guy about uh, this monitor and, key and keyboard set. Because, uh, yeah, I definitely would like to get that. I'm just waiting for an email back. That and I'm waiting for my phone to update because I just set all my applications to update. Look, you can tell. It's totally updating everything. So um, I want to wait for this to be done while I'm on Wi-Fi before I leave the house with my phone and have it use my data plan to update shit. So we'll let that do its thing. And then uh, we're going to head over to Mesco, pick up those caps, and then head over to uh, the source. i got to get some solder, a solder sucker, and some wick. And then we'll come back here and we'll bang out that monitor and hope to Christ we bang it out and don't blow it up. Holy crap, I come out here and it's all fucking yellow. That sun over there, she's just beaming through. This is not the time to be out driving, but we got to go to Mexico to get those caps. And then right after, we got to head over to Adrian's because he's doing a, um, I think he said he's doing brakes on his car, his van, his car, fuck he hasn't owned a car since 2000 and can't even remember. I well, wonder he bought his truck. <laughs> so uh, we're going to take a rip over to Adrian's after he needs help pumping the brakes or bleeding the brakes. So we'll do that. And then, uh, yeah, so let's hit the road and go get some caps and go to Adrian's. It's December 2nd. Look, you can tell. I could probably mow my fucking lawn today if I wanted to. Jesus Murphy. Weather's dick. But so is my tire. Alrighty, guys. Let's get off, get some caps, go over to Adrian's, help him pump some brakes, bleed some brakes. I think he's doing his, uh, his hubs today. So chances are he's making a video on how to replace hubs on a Dodge Caravan. I thought he was doing it to his truck, but it's to the caravan. So, uh, we'll go and grab those capacitors. We'll head over there. Mesco closes at 5. I was waiting for my phone. I didn't even realize you can stop application updates. I'll just... Another problem I'm having is my Wi-Fi is acting weird uh, off that Asus router for some reason. And I know why it's doing it. I just got to go and fix it. Uh, when you're in the house, you get Wi-Fi no problem. The moment you leave the house, you start getting Wi-Fi crosstalk because a lot of the Bell routers in the neighborhood are broadcasting on channel 6, including, including, fuck, including mine. So there's a lot of overlap and crosstalk across the Wi-Fi bands. So I need to go and reset that to talk on channel 8, which seems to be free. Now 8 overhangs onto 7 and 9, and there are a few routers on 7 and 9. But I should be okay for a decent... I can't see fuck all. Uh, let's go over to Mesco's and we'll grab those capacitors. Go over to Adrian's. I want to see if I can get the solder sucker, the wick, and the solder from Mesco's. Should be out with you. Fuck, they're an electronic shop, right? They sell that kind of junk. Because uh, I called them to see if they had the caps. I asked them if to take debit. And they said only for sales over $5. Obviously, two capacitors ain't going to be over $5. We'll go and... Uh, scoop a dupe that shit up and we'll see if we can get the solder sucker the wick and the solder from the same place and then we'll head home oh we'll head over to adrian's we'll do uh we'll pump some brakes and we'll head home probably have some dinner because uh, i took out a steak last night and i want to barbecue that probably stop off at the corner store here on the way back and get some milk because i want to have steak and potatoes and uh yeah so 
Uh, bud, we got the green. That means you can go. It's legal. Fuck. Learn how to drive, noob. Yeah, that's sun there. That's uh, very blinding. Fuck, there's a lot of traffic out today. The other reason why I need to start getting up a little earlier and doing this kind of running around when people are at work. So I left my car fucking unlocked for two days. Didn't even notice. Um, when I went out on Sunday, was it? I think it was Sunday. No, Monday. When I went on a Monday, I, I lost track of what day is what. This being off shit is fucked. Um, but yeah, so... When I went out on Monday to get some groceries and get some beer, uh, I guess when I got home I didn't lock my door. I just fucking grabbed the shit out of the car and went. And I just noticed we got a new crack on the windshield. I'm gonna have to replace this like very soon. Oh, fuck me. I'm kind of hoping for New Year's that if the weather stays the way it is, like we don't get any blistering snowfalls or anything, because I'd like to go down south to London, visit bloke and friends, and hang out down there for a couple days and enjoy New Year's. Because I never ever do anything for New Year's. The past three years, like uh, for New Year's of 2011, it was the last time I actually, or 2012 was the last time I actually did anything for New Year's. No, I didn't. I didn't even do anything that year. That's right, I had to work. So 2011 was the last time I did anything for New Year's. And I went to uh, a friend of the ex's house and we partied there for New Year's. And then that's when I made a, I, I videotaped it and I gotten shit from her because she was mad because I put it on YouTube. And I was like, fuck, that's what I do. So 2012 I had to work, 2013 I had to work. Last year I just sat at home and we played, uh, that's when I bought that bass guitar and I've been dicking around with that but I just haven't had much time to practice lately. I'm learning a few licks on it. I should do that instead of playing video games sometime, just sit there and, because I, I don't really use the amplifier when I'm playing with it, I plug it into my computer, I got this little USB to quarter inch jack jobby, I plug it into my computer, put my headphones on and uh, I watch tutorials and I learn licks. But I haven't done that in like months now. It was funny because last year, um, I'm just, uh, I'm jumping topics right now. But last year, this time, December 3rd or 2nd, I remember the roads being just coated in snow. Like big time coated in snow. There was more snow than there was pavement. And it was awesome. Like I love driving in the snow. I know some people don't like watching it because it's scary as fuck, but I think it's awesome. I don't mind the snow, but like I, I was looking at, th this is also the time last year when Buffalo got fucking wailed on by that snow avalanche, when they got dumped on by bucket loads of snow. You all remember Buffalo last year? Fuck, they got like 78 feet of snow. It was brutal. And this year we're not getting much. Like I was chatting with uh, Big Red, we were chatting on Grand Theft Auto, and he's a little pissed off because he just bought himself a new snowmobile, or a sled, or whatever the fuck you want to call it, snow machine. Bought himself a new uh, new snow machine and chances are he won't be able to use it. There's a good chance he will not be able to use it this year. Because they're calling for no snow this winter or very little, little snow. So that really sucks. That's the reason why I've never purchased a snowmobile. And if I would buy one, I'd buy like an old derelict. Not a derelict, but like an old used one. I'd never buy brand new because the winters around here are unpredictable. Some years we get like fucking mounds of snow, other years we get a little trickle. And because I got that new snowblower and I'm anxious to test it out to see if my work actually held up, chances are we're not going to get snow. That's the way it works. Like the year that I bought the Arians in 2009, when I, when I scooped up the Arians SD824. We didn't get much snow. We were getting tons of snow before I bought it, but then I bought it and figured out how to use it and shit, and then we got maybe two more snowfalls. And then I never needed it again. So it's like, fuck, you know? <laughs> what a waste of money. Well, not really, because the following year I needed it a lot, because that's the year that we got pounded on. And then 2011 was meh, it was aight. It wasn't tight, but it was aight. What we need to do is we need to turn up here where that Honda is, which is actually a Toyota. But because that Toyota is sitting there looking like an idiot, we're going to go around. Um, I can't remember where on Hammond, Mesco is. I've never actually been there myself, but what we're gonna do, and I should have turned right there, is 
is uh, right here will turn up where the uh, Pharma Psi is. So this is why daylight running lights are nice because I can't see shit except for the glows of my all positions lights. Okay, let's see if we can find Hammond Street on here. I believe this is Hammond right here. We'll hang a Larry down to the business section. And Mesco's got to be down here somewhere. Uh, Mesco, Mesco, Mesco. Where the fuck is Mesco? Discount, total cleaning. Ah, there the fuck right in front of me, Jesus Murphy. Okay, we'll pull in here. And I'll just fucking park her right here like an arsehole. And let's go see about getting some capacitors, solder, and shit. Alrighty, so it was $1.25 for both capacitors, so 75 cents a cap. No, one second here. I got the bill right here. So, here, let me show you. So here's all what I bought. The 10 volt, 470. This capacitor here is a 35 volt, 220. Uh, buck tw uh, 98, 95 cents for the one, buck 25 for the other. So for 220, I should be able to fix my monitor. Now I bought some solder because I didn't have any left. Uh, some wick for wicking the solder. And a desoldering tool. You know how much they want for that thing over at the source? Even with my discount, it's cheaper here. Fucking right. So 17 bucks total. Now if I can fix the monitor, literally it cost me the cost of the solder. The, and the caps and the desoldering tool like $17 to fix a monitor that's piss and a lot of this shit I can reuse like the solder the wick and the desoldering tool obviously the capacitors are going to be used to get her going anyway onward to Adrian's I'm going to text him right now let him know I'm on route and then uh, we'll go from there so I'll talk to you guys when we're at Adrian's okay so I'm down here at Adrian's look at his face Look at it, look at his face. So apparently he has to do brakes. Or, uh, I thought he had to do the, uh, the the bearing, but no, it's the brakes. Yeah, I thought I had to do the bearing too, but no, it's the brakes. <laughs> this they're shiny and pretty now. Yeah, and they're freaking premium, so they better last more than a day. At least a week. <laughs> they yeah. better they better do the week's worth of work they're meant to do. Dude, look at the nice shiny caliber. They're so pretty. Oh, so shiny. Ceramic pads. So you just replaced the caliber? Did you do the rotor too? Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, fuck yeah. yeah. Look at that. Well, you want to see the old one? Uh, you they, want, they're you probably. Want to see what Chinese metal looks like after a year? <laughs> oh, I already know. I got it on my car. Look at that. <laughs> after a year. Chinese. Jesus Murphy. This, and this is, is the one that sees. So it was. You probably could get them turned, nope. but. No? Oh, okay. <laughs> this one's got the key. Oh yeah. See the you can oh it's like a record. Nice. Just put it on a turntable. Yeah, see what kind of music plays. Yeah. Go get some Cindy Lauper off of that. Happy van. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you need me to pump, pump, pump the brakes. Okay. This the bleeder should be easy to turn. All right, let's. Uh, okay. Bags of the nice shiny brake parts. Yeah. Oh yeah, you don't even have rims on this, so you can't even look at them afterwards in all their glory. Oh, that's right. upsetting. Get you to shine that down there, but I just want to put that cap back on. Oh, yeah. Is that the bleeder cap? Yeah. Just keep any gunk and stuff from getting in there. Noise. Just knowing this thing, I'll have to bleed them again next year just for fun. That's the way we do. <laughs> you make it sound like it's good to own a caravan. Oh, it's great. <laughs> it wouldn't be so bad if they would fucking use decent brake parts. Yeah. And they super don't. It's pretty bad when you gotta buy a new vehicle and then go aftermarket with everything just to get quality. Oh, I know. Torque it! Torque it! Oh, yeah, torque it, bud. Torque the piss out of it. Uh, oh. I burped. I burped. Alrighty, well, I'm gonna go with Adrian for a test drive because I figured if his shit fails, um, we might as well both die. Yeah, might as well. So we should go. Okay, let's do this. What are friends for? All right, people, well, we didn't die. The van works great. Now I'm gonna head over, I think I'm gonna head to the beer store, scoop up a case. We're gonna head to the grocery store, get some milk and shit, and then we're gonna go home and we're gonna barbecue, and then we're gonna work on that monitor. Holy fucking jerry curl much, bud. All right, so here's the solder sucker I bought. Pretty simple use, heat up the solder, get that tip over top of it, patook, sucks it up. I'll show you that in action. Of course, this is what I've always used with soldering wick, literally. You put the wick over top of a solder joint, you heat up the wick, it sucks up the solder. This is all I ever used, but the thing is, is obviously you can't reuse wick once you sucked up the solder. Basically, you gotta throw it away when you're done. So you cut off bits and you use it and then you chuck it in the garbage. So this is more of a reusable 
and this is more of what I know. Never seen solder packed like this before in a tube, but I bought some anyway. It was cheap. Rosin core soldered 6040, 6040 lead. This should work great for what I want to do. So right on. And of course our two capacitors. A Yagio, and I'm not sure what the fuck that one is. Doesn't matter, as long as they work. Yup. Alrighty, so I just brought all the shit upstairs for fixing that monitor. I uh, got an email back from the guy about the 24 inch monitor, and he said it's still for sale. What I'm gonna do is, we're gonna try and do the repair on this monitor here, and if all goes well, I probably won't bother, but if something happens, this monitor fucking blows up after I do the repair, well, we'll probably bother because I'm sick and tired of not having two monitors on that computer. I know, eh? Fucking spoiled life. Alright, just fired at the barbecue. We'll let that warm up. And then, uh, from there, we're gonna fucking burn up this chunk of beef. Five dollar steak, eh? Yeah, because that's gonna take a while to cook. Now I know that monitor's a sweet deal. Thirty bucks for a monitor, keyboard, and mouse, but... I have a feeling if I went out and bought that, I would just hang that up and I wouldn't fix the other fucking monitor. So this gives me motivation to at least try and fix the other monitor. And get her going and save 30 bucks in the doing yeah because I honestly don't have a need for another monitor I just I see a good deal and it's like oh I should scoop that up but it's like I don't need it you know uh, what I need is to get another monitor on that computer and if I can get that old Acer to fire again well fuck that'd be nostalgic as shit mainly because I had that old Acer in this house since I bought this house so Getting that thing working again would be awesome. The black Acer that blew up before that one, that actual computer or that monitor I bought uh, a year after living here. See in the red room where I, I, I now sleep, but that used to be a computer room and I used to have three desks along the back wall and a computer on each one of the desks. I had my main rig, then I had another rig, and then I had a gaming rig. And uh, my buddy used to come over and we'd sit up there and play in that little red room. We'd be <laughs> Fucking all hours of night playing World of Warcraft. Fucking World of Warcraft, man. Game was a time vampire, but we used to sit there on the weekends. We start on a Friday. We go buy a Bubba keg, which if you're not sure what that is, it's like a little mini keg. I think it contains like a case of beer or something like that. Well, we'd each buy one of those, sit it on the top part of the of the desk, and use surgical tubing. We just drink from it, and we play World of Warcraft from like Friday till Sunday, because I worked Monday to Friday at the time. And it was a good time. We get pretty drunk playing video games and stuff. And yeah, that game was a time vampire. That's like way before I started vlogging, though. Mind you, if I didn't start vlogging, I'd probably be doing more ridiculous shit like that. Actually, if I wasn't making vlogs, I probably wouldn't even get out of bed half the time. I'd probably just lay in bed all day long. Fuck it. Alrighty, step one of dinner is cooked. Head inside, do step two mashed potatoes. It's funny, Dad gave me this radio because he says that it just doesn't tune in the stations right. But I've been using it since I cleaned up this room here and did all the shit up here and there's still some more shit to throw up, but whatever. Um, I've been using it and it fucking sounds great. One thing that doesn't work is the CD player. It doesn't play CDs. It, it won't read a disc. Even if the disc is brand new, will not fucking read it to save its soul. For playing music, which I'm doing right now while I'm cooking my mashed potatoes, I got that going on over, over over here. Just trying to get the butter to melt in the milk water. It's gonna be good. Um, listen to some tunes while I'm getting shit did. So uh, yeah. So the battle plan for tonight, like I said, I'm gonna have dinner, and then uh, we're gonna fix that monitor, test it out. We'll hook it up tonight and make sure it's all good. Probably edit a video on it. That'd be all right, and go from there. So. Uh, I'm gonna go back to tunes mode. I'm gonna listen to more tunes and get these potatoes done and I'll tune back in when they're done. Alrighty, dinner's served. I'm gonna eat. Alrighty guys, so there's the circuit there. The capacitors we're replacing. I already removed one, but it's this one here that's bubbled. The other one, I think I might have thrown it in the garbage, but that's the 10 volt 4700, right? What the fuck are you? Yeah, you're the 2200 microfarad. Okay. So the way I do these solders is pretty simple. Okay, what are you? You are the 2235 volt. That's a fucking massive capacitor. I hope it fits. The 65 volt was even worse. But this is the 10 volt 470, which will go in its place. So what I normally do is I come over here. It's hard to show this, but... Okay, I'm going to show you a little something for people who are not familiar with electronics. 
on capacitors it's marked negative. But if you're ever wondering what the negative post is on any electronic device, uh, any electronic component, you notice how the legs, one's longer than the other. The longest leg is the anode, the shortest leg is the cathode. Cathode is negative, anode is uh, positive. Now, on this circuit board, you see where the cap has to go in. You notice how, let me just put this down, uh, how this circle right here, that's where it's got to go. You see how there's like a, a half shaded area? That's where the negative lead goes. Okay, uh, you can see that on the cap we got to remove here. Uh, this one right fucking here. This guy right here. You see the negative lead and you can sort of see underneath it that there's a shaded area down under here. I got a creepy piece of poop underneath my fingernail. So I'm going to go ahead and solder this. I don't know how the hell I'm going to show it, but we're going to do our best to show it and go from there. So what I normally do in this case is you find the negative, which is right there, and then we'll just slide it in. Okay, I got to clean up some solder first. Um, time to try out the solder sucker. All right, let's test out this solder sucker and see how well she fucking sucks solder. First thing before you do any soldering, you always want to have a little bit of solder on the tip of your rod. <laughs> rod. Uh, basically, it helps conduct the heat better, so we'll just dab a little bit of solder on there. And let's clean up some joints here. Okay, we're going to have to use the solder wick to clean that up. Which also is not a big deal because the solder wick does a lot better. So you take your solder wick, this is another way to do it, and you just put it right over top of the solder. You apply heat to it. And you'll see that all the solder on the board will adhere to the wick. Now, as you can see, I got the cap through it. What I normally do is you bend the legs over bend the legs over and it holds the cap in place. Now's the tricky part. Soldering. You want a little bit of solder on your your iron and then you come in you touch the leads. It'd be a lot easier if I had like a helping hand or something. Done. That one's soldered, then we come over to this side, heat it up, get a little bit of solder in there. Done. Both joints soldered. Now you just take your side cutters, whatever you have. I know, I know, I shouldn't use nail clippers for that, but all I use these nail clippers for is cutting canthal wire every time I make coils, so zero fucks given, bud. And now we need to extract the other capacitor. So we're going to try the solder sucker for this. Now where the fuck is that one? So it's these two side by each there that got to go. I believe. Yeah. So. Sorry if I'm not being really uh, detailed in this. But I just want to get this job done. Because then I got the fun part of putting this fucker back together. There we go. Careful, it's fucking hot. Okay, now I just want to clean up those holes a little bit. Alright, now this capacitor here was the 220 microfarad 25 volt Grapson and it is being replaced with the bigger one. 
It is being replaced with a 35 volt 220. Oh fuck my tits, she's tight boys. She's tight. Look at the size of that beast compared to the old beast. Here's the old one. Uh, where the fuck are we? Here, I'll sit you down. So there's the old, there, there's the new one. And there's the old one sitting right next to it. So she's kind of tight. The fact that it's resting on the heat sink bothers me. But uh, we'll figure it out. Stab her in there, make sure the polarities are correct. Unlike some people, we don't need a knob for that. Alright. Dab some solder onto it. I'm fucking off to the races. So, there are the legs, you can see them there. So let's get some solder onto these. Fuck, where's those needle nose pliers? You gotta put them underneath the board just to keep it fucking sported. That's it. That's all there is to it. It's harder to desolder than it is to solder. Oh, I fucking put that in right. Yeah, okay. Right? Oh, I'd hate to reverse the polarity now. Okay, but those are both in there. So now we just gotta go through the uh, nonsense of fucking rebuilding the, uh, the monitor. Okay, I think I got it all back together here. I got it all screwed into place. The only thing I was having a problem with was I forgot to mark down what side goes on what side. So these are the CCFL drivers for the board. And I couldn't remember what side went where. So fuck it. What we're going to do is we're going to hook this thing up. And hopefully it doesn't explode. I figure I'll get the camera on this while I plug it in. So if anything happens, it'll be awesome. So fire in the hole. Okay. It's plugged in. Okay, why isn't it doing anything? Nothing. Oh, there it goes. Normally it displays Acer on the screen. Okay, let me hook up a video cable to it. Now, whether or not this works, this is that's a whole other story. But okay, I'm gonna guesstimate that I got my driver wires set up wrong. Um, yeah. Okay, so as I just turned it on, I got it to work, and it smelt funny. So there's still a problem with this fucking thing. So now I need to disconnect everything and take a look and see if the boards are fucked. I am about ready to pitch this thing in the garbage. Fuck fixing it. Alright people, I'm just going to turn off the light here. And if you fire it up, you'll see it displays the Acer. And then it displays my desktop. Turn off this light right overhead. And that is a working monitor. So if I go into menu, oh shit, what did I press? Oh fuck. That was a working monitor. Fuck's sakes, there's still something wrong with it. Or is there? Yeah, there's still something wrong with it. Son of a bitch, I thought I got it. Well, I don't know. I really don't feel like working on this thing anymore. You know, it's not worth it when you can get a brand new one or used one for 40, 30 bucks. Why waste more time on this pile of shit? So it's obvious that there's another capacitor in there that shit the bed. Which one? Fuck if I know. I could replace them all, but I really don't feel like doing that. And like I said, for 30 bucks I can get another monitor. So, 
this thing's going in the garbage and I'm going to contact Buddy Uncle Gigi and see about picking up a monitor. So it's obvious that the issue isn't just those two capacitors. There's a lot of other capacitors blown in this fucking thing. So I think the easiest thing to do is to buy an Acer repair kit off of uh, eBay and go from there. But the real easy thing to do, because the Acer repair kit is about $10 plus $11 shipping because, well, Canada Post sucks. So that's $22. And like I said, $30 for a new monitor. It almost doesn't fe seem feasible enough to fix this fucking pile. So I'm just not gonna. But I got some solder now. I got a desoldering tool. I got all that shit, so that's alright. Not like today was a complete waste. And yeah, I just don't feel like dicking around with that monitor anymore when, like I said, $30, bucks, brand new. Fuck it. But I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna shut the vlog down here, boys, because I got. Uh, we're gonna be playing Grand Theft Auto tonight. We're working on getting a lot of money for tanks. Uh, both Chuch and I really want a tank, and they're 1.5 mil, and I have 500,000, so I need to make a million bucks. Not gonna do that tonight, but we'll try. Anyway, shutting her down. Thanks for watching. Like, favorite, and comment. Sucks I couldn't get the monitor working. Hopefully tomorrow I'm picking up a new monitor and going from there. We'll see what happens tomorrow. But until then, keep on vlogging.